A relic? Subi <laughs> Moto? So it's been like six months since I made a video. I thought I would pick the camera up and check back in with everybody. I think when we left off, I had some 110s at the moment, and I had that bike over there still in, you know, it was in pieces. I put it back together for the most part, but I still lack a little bit more, but that's just me being lazy and not motivated to touch that bike because I've got this bike. <laughs> uh, I don't have the 110s anymore. I actually flipped those, made some money. Uh, went through a handful of other bikes and uh, flipped all those and made some money and found myself in a side by side here. So <laughs> that's been pretty fun. But we'll, more on that later. More on that later. Right now, I'm about to leave my house and head up to the Moto store, see what Cole's doing up there. I think Gentry's there at the moment. Um, since I haven't been doing the podcast or videos or anything, I really don't see anybody anymore. Uh, so I thought I'd go check in because it rained yesterday and I have the day off. We'll check back in at the store. Look where we is. Oh, look at Gentry over there, taking pics of his new wheels. Looking like a bitch. New wheels, huh? Yes, sir. Damn, those hoes are crispy. Shut up, dude. What the hell? Yep, dude. Are you vlogging again, motherfucker? Uh, you know, we'll see. You see? Oh, dude, the Celsius are fire, game? bro. Oh, it's covered up. So rude. R.I.P. Oh, stayed up at the motor store way longer than I planned on, but that is okay. I need to head back to my house and talk about the side-by-side -side and some of the bikes and stuff that I've gone through lately. It's been a fun few months. That is for sure. So it's a new day, but I'm now back from the moto store and uh, we can talk about the side-by-side -side and the other bikes and such that I have currently. I think the last time that I made a video, I had two 110s and mm, maybe the FZ07, I think. Yes, that should be correct. So I sold the FZ07 shortly after having it uh, because I made a nice chunk of change on it. Uh, the market, you know, kind of went crazy, the used market. And then I sold both the 110s. Yeah, after that, I sold both 110s, made money on both of those. And then I bought this YZ250X. And if you remember, this was actually Pickle's 250X. Uh, there should be videos with him on it as well. He's the one that did the black. I have a black tank that uh, coming from my boy Strick. So this will be all black soon, but I love this bike. Nothing crazy. It's kind of got the same stuff I had before. It's got, uh, I won't go over it too, too crazy just because I've done it before with my other 250X that I had a 16. This one's at 18. Um, it's got, you know, the plastic covers on both sides, the swing arm covers. Uh, I do have an armadillo guard, which people hate on them, but I, I kind of like the way they look. Um, I need to put that on there, but yeah, this one, um, you know, Happy to be back on a 250X, really. My last one was a 2016, this one's an 18. I'm cheaper into this one. Um, it is for sale, of course, because, you know, everything's for sale always. This dirt bike has been my favorite one that I've owned for dirt, so I'm not like too kicked up on selling it, but you know, you know, money's money. The old WR400 build, build, refresh really, we'll call it a refresh, not a build, but uh, it's still in pieces. I made a little bit more progress off camera because I just kind of got sick of recording and doing all that. Uh, but really all I have to do now is uh, put the rest of the plastics back on in the tank and then maybe do some graphics or something. I don't know. We'll see. But I'll hop back into that soon enough. Like I'll catch a wild hair in my ass and just want to get it done. So soon enough we'll do that. I had another 250X, it was a 21 actually, it was brand new. The guy rode it like once maybe on some back roads and on his property and then got rid of it because he wanted a side-by-side -side or Harley or some shit, I don't know. But I bought that one, made money on that one too because your boy doing flips, son. And then we now have this side-by-side. -side. It's a 2016 YXZ1000R. It's the uh, 16 years, so it's the anniversary edition, yellow, obviously. We haven't done anything, and when I say we, 
I keep saying we when talking about it because uh, my buddy Kyle, he's been, you know, flipping bikes with me. So it's kind of both of us doing it, you know. Um, so the only thing we've done to it is put some harnesses in there because uh, why would you get dangerous without harnesses in these? So bought those on Amazon. I'll make sure there's a link down below because these harnesses were fairly cheap. They had really good ratings and super affordable. Um, nothing crazy. Whenever I bought this side by side though, it had a recluse in it already, which means you know you won't stall it when you're on the trail, which is really good because you get in a tight spot. You don't have to worry about clutch work and all that. You still uh, use the clutch to shift gears. You just won't stall out when coming to a stop. It's the R version, so it has the uh, sequential gearbox in it. It doesn't have the paddles up here. It's reverse. It doesn't have the paddle shift though. Um, just sequential, you know. First is <laughs> first is forward, and then all the other gears are back. You just keep, you know, pulling it back to shift gears. But uh, I've taken this out a few times, and I got to tell you, it is freaking fun. Um, which is actually today I'm gonna head up to Oklahoma City with the truck. I'm going to head up to Oklahoma City and get some uh, new wheels and tires for it. They're DOT tires, and they're 30s, I believe. I believe they're 30-inch tires and different wheels. And I'll have five of them, so I'll have the spare tire, too, to go with it. It should sit up a little bit higher. These tires, if you notice, the front and the back wheel are different. Like, the tires and everything are different sizes. So this one's real narrow. The back one's real wide. I'd like to get a uh, the Yamaha flip-up windshield for it. I think it's like 400 bucks or something. And then after that, I plan on getting a blinker kit and kind of seeing how lucky I am to get it street legal, which I have a friend that did that and got his street legal, but he also lived uh, in Dallas where they don't tend to care as much. And I'm up here in the suburbs. Cops up here probably won't be too happy about a side-by-side -side rolling around to the grocery store, but we're gonna try it and see. So if I get a plate for it, then I mean, I can just claim ignorance, I guess. Yeah, here in a little bit, we're gonna run up to Oklahoma and pick up some wheels and tires and then uh, swap them out. So it'll probably be a two-day venture on this video because uh, it'll probably be late whenever I get back with the wheels and tires and then I'll probably put them on tomorrow. So quite excited about that but cool we'll uh i'll check back when we have the wheels and tires in our possession i guess all right it's next day but i got the wheels so now we're gonna put them on the side by side and see what the fuck we are dealing with they're not the nicest they're not perfect they're actually quite scratched up but i got a really good deal on them treads are still all there and there's five of them so I mean, in tires and wheels alone, it was like two grand. And I'm telling you, I got a freaking steal of a price on them. So. Um, I need to move the side-by-side, -side, kind of center it up in the garage a little bit. If I can shimmy it over towards the middle, and then we'll jack it up and take it off. I'm sure it's a little bit overkill, but big ooga dooga to get the wheels off. Definitely overkill. I really need a bigger space to work in. But this year I plan on buying land and building a barn dominium and all that good stuff. So for the time this will have to do. There we go. <laughs> uh, this jack, it's a three ton Pittsburgh. It's from um, Harbor Freight Tools. Uh, I think the lifting on this one, I think it goes like 18, almost 19 inches tall. And I knew that the suspension as I lifted it up, this would sag a bunch. So I tried to get you know, the tallest one I could find just to be safe. See, that's up. We are good there. This impact goes up to like 1,400 foot-pounds of torque. It's got lots of power. These are 27s. These are 30s. 27 versus 30. So, and these are uh, these are nines, these are uh, 10 wide. 30 by 10 versus uh, 27 by nine. High enough. Oh man. All right, let's button this one back up and then we'll take a look at what they look like. 
Oh man, that looks so much cooler. <laughs> Let's get the other camera. All right, so we got the first one on. Yeah, you guys freaking tell me which one looks better. Jeez, so much more aggressive looking. And they're all gonna be the same size now. The front and back aren't gonna be different anymore. Oh man, this is gonna look so sick. I need to hurry up and get these others swapped real quick. That. Or that. That. Or that. I think it's quite obvious which one's better. <laughs> All right, let's swap the back and then uh, we'll uh, take a full look around. <laughs> See what I'm talking about? The back sags a bunch. I just don't want to have to. I may have to block it. I think that's it right there. Yeah, I am not going to be able to get those other tires on there. I need to find a block to put on top of the jack to let it sit up even higher. Get a brick over here loose. What do you know? <laughs> Freaking brick loose on my wall there. Uh, let's hope that this brick is actually strong enough to, you know, lift the weight up. I think we're good. Oh, broke my brick. Good to go. RIP brick. If I put it back, it's like it never happened. See, good as new. Yeah, this is so sick. That looks so much better. I love it. Let's pull this out of the garage and look at it. That was really excellent <laughs> backing out skills. I was running over my, the old tire there and I couldn't figure out what I was getting caught on. I'm an idiot. God, look at that thing though. Simple as that, just putting some wheels on it. I'm telling you, that is just so much better. I probably won't use these wheels off-road very much because I don't want the extra weight and everything to start snapping axles a lot easier. So I'll keep these for off-road use and keep these for on-road use. Now we just need to go test drive it. All right, get a little warmed up. Safety first. Man, these new tires roll smooth. I'm trying to go too hard around the neighborhood here. Don't want to piss everybody off. Test drive is done. Side by side looks way better. Quite happy with it. Like I was saying, I think next I just need to get a windshield and then a blinker kit for it and then we will try our very best to get it plated and cruise on the streets without cops messing with me too hard. A fire built up in me right now, so I think we will I think it's safe to say that there will be some more videos here soon. Um, look, I don't want to promise any kind of schedule or anything, but there's a lot kind of going on right now. So, yeah, I'd expect a few videos. Glad to be back, guys. Glad. Uh, thank you to anybody that watched this. I don't know. I guess. <laughs> Catch y'all in the next one. Peace.